So basically, the way it works is very simple. So it has, uh, you program, you connect it to your computer through USB cable, so it can be powered from the USB cable. So the only thing you need is your computer and this with a cable, and you can start writing programs that run on this chip. Arduino is a digital platform that consists of hardware, software, and documentation. Arduino really works with microchips that can embed intelligence into everyday objects. And we made it so easy that 10-year-old kids can start programming new interactive devices. And with this, this we trigger the scale. This is volume. The idea behind Arduino is to increase knowledge about electronics through circuit boards that anyone can learn to program. All the essential information about the technology is available online. What makes Arduino unique is that all its hardware, software and documentation are open source. This means that users can use, modify and share with others. Arduino is spread all over the world and is used by millions of people. So this thing here is, it allows you to to play with lights and sound, so you can just turn it on and you can look through the hole and then when you move it, it starts making sound and making drawings. A series of different challenges when, I, when we talk about the digitalization of society. So the first one is the old versus the new, like what happens with old people that aren't used to these systems. Uh, that could also be translated in terms of the digital gap like what happens with the, those that can and those that can't get access to things. So it's not just the old versus the new, so it's a very similar kind of conflict there. But uh, personally, I think that the challenges are different because the challenges are not just about access. Let's say that we are in a world where we all have managed to get access. Um, so the, the, the challenges come then from who should own the platforms, who should then uh, uh, process the data or share the data or make it available for other people or uh, should we just try to keep everything private? In which way will we make society better if we are not willing to share what we know with others? The good things about Arduino are that it enables people in becoming creators of new technologies. That is uh, one of the underlying basic fundamental aspects of the technology here. On the other hand, it's um, democratizing access to technology in a way that other things haven't managed to do before. Because one thing is to let people, for example, uh, let's say reprogram the controls of their microwave. <laughs> a different thing is letting, giving them a tool that allows them to make their own microwave. So this is the, the big difference between Arduino and all the things that existed before. I have to say music is not my part. I just do the electronics, but uh, you see how it works. <laughs>